longtime attorney to discuss his father's incarceration. I am so sorry. It was a client. Okay. But he was finding it difficult to get any answers. How long was I on the phone? 25 minutes. Well, you know, with the cell phone charges, I'm going to round it out to about an hour because it's easier to bill. All right. Anything else to go over? We've got everything else to go over. We haven't done anything to get my dad out of jail. Okay. First of all, what are you doing? Pilates? Because no 40-year-old woman should look like that. I do have some big news. Oh, it's going to cost you a little money, 20000 something like that. The courts have agreed to let your father out of prison. This is a lawyer. He's a master. For the entire <laughs> afternoon. What, what do you mean afternoon? What afternoon? The day before Christmas. In time for the Living Classics pageant, because I know how important that is to all of you. I don't really want to be Adam this year. Well, if you want to play Eve, you got to get in line behind, what about five homos? That was wrong. I, I'm so sorry. It's just that I have one down at the office now, and, and I mean, it is every day. Every year we go through this song and dance, and every year you say, thank you, Mama, for making me play Adam. Okay, I'm gonna get out of your hair. We'll talk about this money later in the week. Excuse me, we're not gonna pay $20,000 to get my dad out for one day. No, no, it's a bond. It's all <laughs> refundable, unlike my time. It's been a complete <laughs> waste of two hours, okay? We're just not gonna do it, and that's that. What are you doing? Are you writing two hours? No, I'm taking notes on. I'm taking notes on the case. Let me just see what's going on. You're scaring me. You know what? Just leave it alone. Leave it alone. It is a gift from a client. Ruining a good meal. Barry's very good. Wayne Jarvis had become famous after an employment discrimination suit against the family's current attorney, Barry Zuckercorn. It'll be a long time before Barry Zuckercorn calls anyone a homo again. Finally arranged a meeting with attorney Wayne Jarvis. For a more professional approach to our representation. Well, I'm a professional. I'm serious and I'm a professional. That's fantastic. So how long have you been I also don't like small talk. I find that unprofessional. Mm -hmm. Why should I be billing you for small talk when I'm enjoying it as much as you are? Good. If you retain my services, I will get your father out of jail, and we will be countersuing before the end of the year. We're gonna get this company's name back to where it started. Or hopefully higher. I didn't say that. Don't hold me to that. Oh, wait. I had another hearing. Here's the good news. I think I'm gonna get off, huh? I have a good lawyer. You look great in red. Okay. Anywho, what are we doing here? What's the plan? The plan? You're our lawyer. Oh, it's a figure of speech. You're gonna be fine. Oh, for God's sake, he's on his own for two days and he joins a gang. The Honorable Lionel Ping presiding. Oh, we've got Ping. Do not ask me how I did it. They offered us a plea bargain. Really? There's a chance we don't have to go to trial. Absolutely. And I say we take it because we will never get an offer this good again. Wow. Great, what's the offer? Well, I didn't read it. Well, I just got it yesterday. FYI, I'm trying to get back into the dating world. Hey, you're not one of those uh, silly men that's dressed like a woman, are you? No, baby, I'm the real thing. I don't understand how a person can put their sex life in front of their work. He's a man, Michael. He needs a woman. Can we get back to work, folks? Well, we don't even know what the plea is yet. Is that a shot at me? Because that makes me want to read it all the less, huh? You have another one of these? Yes, I do. Great, we'll both read it. And later at the courthouse. Afternoon. Thank God. So did you read the plea? We've got minutes here, not hours. I'm not the lawyer, all right? Why didn't you read it? Excuse me, I got busy with my other clients. What are the clients? He doesn't know about the divorce? It's an annulment. Oh, I looked into that too. You can only get an annulment if you haven't consummated the marriage first. He was talking about my divorce. I couldn't breastfeed any of you kids because of that man. Oh, oh they oh, still look, look fabulous. Who's... Let's take the plea, okay? Look, it's so nice and thick. Oh, George. Even when you slept with my sister, it was for a good reason. God, it just stopped drinking, didn't it? All right, listen, this is all getting a little crazy. We cannot accept their conditions if we don't even know what their conditions are. Do you want to read it? Uh, no, it is thick. Why don't we just take it? I could kiss you on the... Well, was, what? The Honorable Lionel Ping presiding. Oh, we've got Ping again. We've got Liza. Objection. What? We haven't read it. It's very long, Your Honor. Sit down. 
We haven't read it. We're gonna we're gonna get to I'm gonna start right now. That's Michael. You're in bed with the prosecution? I gotta go talk to her. No, no. Michael! You can save this family. Please, do the right thing here. String this blind girl along so that dad doesn't have to pay his debt to society. The solution to all our problems is staring you right in the face and it can't even see you. I think I'm gonna take a scenic drive down to the city of industry. Maybe. I got here as quickly as I could. I didn't know you had a daughter. I don't. I thought you wanted me to go, you daddy. Why don't you wait for daddy in the car? All right, what do we have here? Job sunk the yacht. Last time Kitty was seen, she was getting onto it. It's on tape. Ooh, did you see this? Yep. Ooh, chills. Why do I keep getting these bruises? Barry, okay, what do you tell, we don't lie in this family. Maybe, why don't you get a soda? Okay. I do think that we should lie. Mm -hmm. Are you willing to take a polygraph to that effect? Are you nuts? Not without a better lawyer. You know what? Let me take care of this. Please. Oh, our star witness. Come here. Oh. Good to see you. You know what? Don't get too close to me, because I've got an itch you can't believe. I think something laid eggs on me. Well, right. Thanks for the heads up. Here. Oh, Barry, uh, did you talk to a doctor? I did. I have poison oak. Do you believe it? Where the hell did I get that? She was talking about George. No, he's the same. Look, I guess we should decide on who's going to speak for the family. I would, but I, I have Laker tickets. Arrived to claim his father hey, and Barry. was met by the family attorney, Barry Zuckercorn. Mm. No, I know, I know, I know, I know. Everybody says, leave it alone, leave it alone. Hey, does it look contagious to you? Hey, kiddo. All right, it wasn't your father. It was your uncle. I ran into them as they were leaving. Barry. There he is. Oh, for God's oh. sake. Well, I only came back to tell him that I was leaving, so I guess it's time to go, son. Where are you going? We're going to Phoenix. Oh, I wish you hadn't said that. As your lawyer, I have to inform you, you cannot leave the state. I mean, with your father gone, they want to hold you. Mm -hmm. Me? They're going to indict you tomorrow. All you have to do is come up with a bail. Take it out of the business. But I, I can't. I quit. I, I don't want to follow in my father's footsteps. Then you might wind up on his cot. Oh, man, I wish you hadn't said Phoenix. Tobias rushed to the theater, hoping to be seen. Unfortunately, it was dusk, and he couldn't be seen. What the hell was that? And Barry lands in jail. You're glad Tobias is pressing charges? I am having the time of my life. Hey, hey, Dr. Hate. No touching. Is there any way I can divorce them? Oh, sure. It's called emancipation but you've got to prove that you're living in an unstable environment. Both my parents are trying to have affairs. Of course, they haven't succeeded yet. If they do, I could have you out of this house on the street in a month. Sweet. Mm -hmm. The will is not here. The will is at my office uh, next to the hot plate with the frayed wires. I didn't, uh, it wasn't- In fact, I Barry had lost George Sr.'s will. How did I get here? Oh my God, Lucille, he is gone. Earlier. I don't know anything about the business, I told you! We're gonna get you, Bluth. We'll give you a few minutes to think about what you want to do. He knows less than anyone we have ever questioned. You're free to go. Things could get very messy for you, Michael, unless you have something to bargain with. Like, say, a fugitive. I don't know where to find such a thing. Well, look harder. There might be something in it for you. Can I have a moment along with my client, please? Did you follow any of that? No, wait, right. don't tell me now. Okay, if you know, give me a high five. It's just you and me now, huh? No, Barry, I, I know where my father is, okay? He came back to make sure that my mother wasn't really in love with my uncle. He wants to know if he's still got a shot with her. If he doesn't, he's leaving. Well, if he's got a shot with her, just give me a little tap on the fanny. That's not gonna happen. Okay, then look. Just tell him anything he wants to hear to keep him from running. We just have to keep him here until we can hear what kind of deal they're offering you. You just trust me. I'm a lot more competent than you can imagine. Oh, I forgot to take the tinfoil off, too. I really wanted that. Okay. I obtained these from the Bluth Company email server. You tapped into our email? That's legal? I'm going for a hot ding-dong. Hot ding-dong? 
Michael, when we started talking to you, we didn't have anything. But now, we got something. And you're gonna do time for it. Those are the pictures? They're all over the news. Those are balls. What? Barry was right. Yeah. Tobias had inadvertently photographed himself while learning to use his camera phone. See, at, at this close, they always look like landscape. Nope. You're looking at balls. Barry! Good news, and even better news. Your company stock is unfrozen, and my lawsuit against the LA Kings is moving forward. How did that happen? Maybe I stood above the plexiglass and a puck hit me. No, it the, could happen. the stock. Maybe you can draft up a letter to the investors. Yes, the stock is unfrozen. We urge you not to sell. Oh, uh, yeah, you, what you just said was perfect. Why do you want me to write it? Just send it out on your stationery. And do it quickly. Michael had bought a car, and it had helped put the company in jeopardy. I'm sorry about the patch. I'm testifying against the Kings this afternoon. You can't see it. I just winked. Basically, uh, you're about 2,000 shares short of being the majority stockholders. Now, unfortunately, it's a private stock, so you cannot just buy up the shares unless someone is willing to sell. Are you sure? That's what they said on Ask Jeeves. Michael and Job tracked down their attorney, Barry Zuckercorn. Thank you so much for coming down here. I've got a big case. I'm representing Skip Church's restaurant. I don't care. A waitress that works there is claiming that by eating, Skip scrambled her several times a week is making her a fatty. We need to speak to you about getting a divorce for Job. Oh, well, I got Michael out of his marriage, didn't I? Actually, she died. You're kidding me. I've been taking credit for that for years. Credit? Who's their lawyer? Saul Zensman, do you know him? I have Chinese with him every Friday night at Miss Temple's. He's tough. I just want my wife back. Hey, let's save it for the stand, okay, Tom Jane? Fine. I'll get into this as soon as I lose this case. You know who's defending the fatty? Maggie Liza. Wow, how does she look? Well, she's, if you ask me, bigger. She was bigger. Barry gets a big break right. on his case. The fat girl in my Skip Church's case? Not fat. Attorney bought her a fat suit. Oh, I got another case. Maggie is suing you for paternity. The courthouse determined to win Maggie back. Have you seen Maggie? It's kind of important. <laughs> what a spanking I gave her in court today. Go get him. He spanked me. Did you spank her? Oh. You know that waitress she's representing is suing my client for making her fat. But here's the thing, Loretta is not fat. Friday night, you might want to try Miss Temple's. Tell her Barry said, oh, I did good today. Behind her. And what if I told you that Loretta was not fat, but actually a very greedy woman in a very cheap fat suit? Huh? What are you doing? OK, so she's fat. Your honor, this is an outrage. How did I lose this one? Mr. Zuckercorn, you've been warned about touching. You said spanking. And Barry prepared Job to meet with Trust his wife. You really want to settle this. Now, your job is to convince that wife of yours that you are willing to go in front of the judge and admit that you never had sex. And she has a name, Barry. You don't happen to know what it is, by the way, do you? That's why I want to settle. I'm not super prepared. Well, we did have sex. And I'm not a great liar. Both things he just said were lies. But if you think it'll scare her off. I do, and it will, and you don't want to go in front of that judge. I caught him in a drag club. What were you doing there? Wow. You should be the lawyer. He made their way to the arraignment. You know Job is bringing your father. Everything is going to work out fine. Yeah, well, I wish they'd hurry up. Dad wasn't crushed to death. Was there a risk of that? Yes, well, I handcuffed him under the house, but as it turns out, he got free because the pipes that I chained him to weren't connected to anything. Oh, I'm not prepared for this case. What do you think? Hey, Barry. Hi, Mikey. So how much do you know? I know that Oscar is in prison and that my father is a blue man and that you are clearly in cahoots with him. Ooh, a lot. Yeah, where is he? Oh, I don't know. I was going to meet him here, but he must have seen you and run off. I was going to give him this, $250,000 and a passport. Just a passport. I was up for so long. Barry, you're fired. What? Yeah. Just like that. No warning. You're my only client. What am I supposed to do now? Turn tricks on the street? How much do you think I can get for that, by the way? Right. What about making out? $50? Or is that just LA? Am I just... Get your hands off my husband, Kitty. Did someone say husband? I want a divorce. And I would be thrilled to represent either one of you. That'll be uh, $50.